and uh, the guy in the front that is Mahatma Gandhi. Oh, right. And these are all the freedom fighters. Ah. So this. Is oh, hey, doggy. Doggy. All right, doggy. All right, doggy. India is a very different culture from North America for sure. It's very chaotic. Uh, yeah, you never see street animals like that in North America, that's for sure. Um, yeah, just a, like a wild, wild west kind of place where, you know, everybody's trying to get ahead. Uh, it's a view from my hotel room. The food was amazing at uh, the place I stayed. Yeah, I ate some street meat too. I didn't even get sick, so somebody's taking care of me. It was a venue the day before the event. Our vendor's just yeah. doing final touches, making sure everything's perfect. I think this guy's stuck it all. Morning of the big event. See what the level is. See where the top guy is. Real curious. What their what their what their guys are like right now. Big day. On our way, rolling to the tournament. You ever get in trouble in India? You just pull out your home defense. If that doesn't work, you can level up. Yeah. Get your get your sword out. Nobody messes with us. Nobody messes with us. <laughs> Once the tournament got started, Snizana and myself were reffing most of the day. So I didn't get a chance to get a lot of video, but I will post links in the description so you guys can check out uh, where, where all the videos come from. Here's a list of all the winners and all the classes. It was a full event and lots of crazy matches. But this is the overall event. So all your winners, you're now looking at them. And uh, yeah, they just took the winners single elimination. So single elimination all the way through the entire event. A lot of unexpected stuffs going on, like right here. This is the open class winner who is kind of the favorite to win the whole thing. And uh, you know, getting his wrist busted back in this match, and uh, kind of fried him out. He ended up winning, but. Right about this dude, was just nobody could touch him all day. Elbow, 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 elbow. Oh, 
तो पहले से बोल के रखिए And this is your finals. This is the uh, these are the last two guys standing for the whole event, and it was drama. So this is like I think it's like 12:30, 12:45 in the morning right now. It's been a long day, tons of arm wrestling, and these guys had some wars all day. He's on, I saw the pin, I saw the elbow, the crowd is like totally not sure what's going on right now. आप कितने देर से हम रसिंग कर रहे हो? From nine years, जेवल। And have you done most of your arm wrestling here in India? Yeah. India में हम रसिंग कर रहे हो? And this was so awesome to get to just train with all these guys at the end of the tournament. Most of them are all finished and you know beat up already, but we stayed on the table for quite a long time. And it's so much fun, you know, when uh, when you can when you can resist the crowd, but you know put yourself out there to just be ripped apart and. The, the workout that you can get from doing events like this is like none other. Like uh, the amount of blood flow you can get through all your arm wrestling muscles is, it's, there's, there's nothing like it. Uh, so yeah, I was, I was enjoying it.
band, but I could tell that this is definitely one of their stronger guys. So maybe we'll see him next year. Elbow elbow. That was it. Work's done. We got to enjoy India for a bit. Sorry. Um, yeah, our vendor took us to all the cool places. The first uh, place that we went was the Golden Temple. And I really didn't know anything about the Sikh religion, so this was all totally brand new to me. Um, you know, what a, for one, what what a beautiful place uh yeah like the temple is made out of gold or um yeah this story is crazy yeah. okay. Uh, okay. Uh, soldier. okay baba deep singh you are having a war against somebody okay they cut his head off he took his head in one hand and fought with the other hand the whole army ran away Hold up. He has such spiritual power. And this is really what impressed me the most about the whole experience of the Golden Temple. Uh, I asked a few questions like, what's really the Sikh religion all about? And Arvinder's line to me was that it's our job to help those in need. And that's like it. That's like the only thing that the Sikh religion really revolves around, to help those in need. Um, what you see here, what we're doing is we are walking into a kitchen at the Golden Temple. This kitchen feeds 100,000 people in a day, uh, which, is, which is just amazing to me. Uh, you, it, you can just go in and eat 24 hours a day, anytime. So uh, I think I know where I'm going to end up. Uh, but uh, yeah, basically the Sikh religion uh, says we are all a part of God. And, um, you know, together uh, we, we make up what God is. So yeah, so it's the only, our only job is to, to help each other. So it's really beautiful and this is what I'm seeing here is just such a clear testament to that part of their philosophy. Uh, super impressive and very inspiring. Yeah, so they, they bring in your food um, and you know, nobody really knows how this works. I asked tons of people and basically this place operates on donations and anybody can just go in and work. So anybody can just go and work in the temples from what I understand. Work in the kitchens, uh, do dishes, do repairs, but it's very loosely structured from, from what I see how most of India is. Uh, well, in the short week, this is what I kind of gathered. That uh, there is a lot of chaos, but people see their way through the mess. So yeah, hand in your dishes and, and carry on. Uh, I really loved this whole temple. Um, I'm so glad that I got to see it. And then, uh, yeah, that was that was about it. We rolled on to our next destination, yeah, the Taj Mahal. Wow, what a marvel! Really, this place is just the the the. The, the, the might of this building is just, you know, you're in, you're in complete awe of it, that somebody built this, and it's, it's a tomb, it's a grave. 
uh, for this king's uh, dead wife. Uh, quite a story. The dude was a total savage. Killed his wife's uh, husband. Anyways, long story. Taj Mahal, pretty intense place. And then we are off to the Pakistani border. Okay, so anybody who doesn't know, there's a, uh, quite a lot of tension between India and Pakistan. They have uh, some contested areas. I think it's uh, Kashmir. Um, and there's people, about a dozen people, 10 to 20 people, I think, uh, a day are getting killed. There's Snizana right on the border of Pakistan and, uh, Af uh, Pakistan and India. So they do this ceremony every single day, twice a day. And it's a couple hours, and they like fill up the stadium, and this is the Indian side, and there you can see the Pakistani side on the other side of the fence. And like two hours, they're like doing all this drill and performance. And I asked them like, are they like buddies? Or are you? And they're like, no, it's like super tense. And uh, I don't know. anyways, this girl was giving us the eye. I don't know. I don't know. Do something, but I think our Preet was kind of—he was digging her. I don't know, or else he thought that she was gonna throw him out of the building. But he was getting nervous. Uh, yeah, they just—it's quite a show, man. Like Pakistani Indian border, it's—it's it's something to see. Like I want to see <laughs> this rivalry on the arm wrestling table. That's really what I want to see. Like these guys are tense. Like look at this. You know, like I'm like, are they joking around? And uh, everybody's like, no. Like they really want to kill each other. Uh, I had no idea. Anyways, that's it. Like uh, it was really neat to see the border and how every day they're doing this, twice a day in demonstration. Uh, I really don't know what it means, but uh, it, was, it was wild to see. Um, it really makes me want to set up an arm wrestling match between Pakistan and India. That's, that's for real. What a great time. What an awesome party. Uh, thanks so much, Lions Empire. Thanks so much, Arvinder. Uh, I really hope I get to come back, and I'm sure that this event the Ka Mahasangram is going to get bigger and bigger every year. So, India, uh, we'll see you again. Train hard, and I, I know that you guys are going to blow this sport up.